Brewers regular season game 26 will start off by Yankees two walks. Alex Verdugo hit a three-run home run, making it a quick 3-0. John Carlos Stanton with single, then the Yankees will get the final two outs. The Brewers will get the first two outs. Reese Hoskins will hit this middle-middle fastball off of Carlos Rodon, making it 3-1 Yankees. Blake Perkins will get the third out. Austin Wells with single, then the Yankees will go 1-2-3. The Brewers will go 1-2-3. Two, two walks, then a single, then a three RBI double for Glaber Torres will make it 6-1. to one. The Yankees will get back-to-back outs. The Brewers will have a practical 1-2-3 except for a William Contreras walk. The Yankees will have a practical 1-2-3 except for an Aaron Judge single. The Brewers will go 1-2-3. Two, two singles plus one run. Anthony Volpe will get the third out. Joey Ortiz will double, then the Brewers will go 1-2-3. Tyago Vieira will come in and give up a two-run homer to Aaron Judge, making it 9-1. Alex Verdugo is single, then a two-run homer by Anthony Rizzo would make it 11-1. Glaber Torres is single, then the Yankees will get back-to-back outs. The Brewers will go 1-2-3. Juan Soto and Alex Verdugo would single. Blake Perkins will get walked, then the Brewers will go 1-2-3. The Yankees would have practical 1-2-3, except for Austin Wells double. Jackson Churio would double, then the Brewers will go 1-2-3. Two singles and a sack fly would make it 12-1 Yankees. A three-run homer by John Carlos Sandu would make it 15-1. Glaber Torres would single. Jose Trevino, yes, the catcher, would come in and give up a double to Gary Sanchez, making it 15-2. An RBI double by Joey Ortiz would make it 15-3. Ortiz cuts down the lead to 12. The Brewers will end out the day with my back-to-back outs. Alright, so what has to be in the Brewers' worst game of the year so far? They lose a whopping 15-3. The record is now 17-9, and there is no Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game.